Hello and welcome to my new art tutorial, How to Draw Buildings. My name is Tom McPherson and in this video I will show you one way to draw the front facade of St Paul's Cathedral in London. The first step in drawing a complex building like this is to sketch the basic shapes so that you can get a sense of the proportion of the general basic areas. I think it's best to go for the bigger shapes first and check how they all fit together. Always redrawing any line you see whenever you see that something needs changing. I will continue this process of drawing and checking the basic shapes until you are satisfied that all of the different parts work together. Looking at the whole drawing, even when you're drawing an individual area, so you're sort of gauging how it all works together, and in that way you're really questioning things and allowing the drawing to be quite loose for as long as possible because we're trying to get the whole drawing working together rather than getting one little bit just right at this stage. Once you have the basic shapes in place, you might find that none of the lines are quite what you want. I think that's fine because now we can go into the detail and maybe discover how the lines will work together and how we can build on these basic shapes so that we get a better structure in our drawing. With this building, there are many connections between the sizes and shapes of the various details. For example, the windows and columns often line up. It's good to notice how these connections work, and I think it would be very difficult to notice that straight away, because as you're drawing over time, I think it's true to say that you notice more and more things as time goes on. So it's good if your drawing can reflect the observations that you have through drawing and therefore that sense of continually correcting your drawing as you discover new things and new connections will enable you to get a stronger result in your end finished drawing. Once you've sorted out the basic shapes and have indicated how all these details fit together, then I think for this drawing I'll use a black pen and redefine all of the pencil lines. It's a good idea perhaps to keep looking and questioning what you're seeing rather than just copy over the pencil lines, because I'm sure I can improve some things and notice more things as I go along.
So once all the pen lines are in place, I think I'll add some tone. And I'll start by maybe darkening the windows. And then I'll use my black pen and shade with some cross hatching. Cross hatching is just a way of adding tone to a pen drawing. You can cross hatch with pencil as well, but often it's found in pen drawings or printing. I start by drawing diagonal lines all going in one direction in the areas in which there are shadows in this building. And then I can cross these diagonal lines with other diagonal lines going in a different direction. And this makes basic cross hatching and it's a way of creating areas of dark. And you can modify these areas of dark by how many different diagonals that you do. So you can do diagonals going to the right and then maybe diagonals going to the left. And then you could also add vertical lines and even horizontal lines. And then if you do that all in one spot, that will make that area very dark, but it won't be a solid dark. It will be a cross-hatched sort of dark where there's slight little gaps in between all of these crisscrossing lines. I hope you find this video useful for your own drawings. The key main things in this drawing are to look at the basic shapes first and to see the when you do the individual details to still see how it works within the whole drawing. And drawing something like the facade of St Paul's Cathedral in London where it has a lot of detail but also it has its basic structural shape and trying to keep those two things together is a really good way of understanding this process of looking at the basic shapes and then doing the details later on. It is so the details I think that we often notice first of all but if you haven't got the basic shapes it might be really quite difficult to put the details in because you don't really know where the details go. So by doing it in this process of doing the basic shapes first and then adding the details later on then hopefully we get a drawing that works well together. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel Circle Line Art School for a new art tutorial every week. There are now over 170 of my art tutorials to watch. So if you ever had a chance you can watch a few of those. Again thank you very much for watching. Keep drawing and see you next time.